Welcome to Chris Linford Co.uk Get Going Guides. Uh, this session we're going to be looking at using FTP software uh, that you need to transfer files to your web server and to make amendments to your server and to remove files from your server. So what we've got is the easiest way to find FTP software is there's lots of different versions out there. Best way is to Google or to Yahoo uh, a search word like free FTP software and up will come lots of different open source solutions. Some you buy and some you can get free. Uh, the one I prefer um, is a piece of software called Cyberduck. I like it because it's a duck and it starts off uh, a bit like this uh, which is quite straightforward and all you need to do is then ignore all the basic ones it gives you to start with uh, you then want to open uh, a connection to your server. So you type in your uh, domain name with FTP at the front of it. Sometimes you can put www in front of it, it depends on the host who you work in. Then put in the username you've been given and then uh, the password uh, that you've got. Um, if you've allowed anonymous logins you can click there but it gives you limits for what you can do and then we can just connect to it and we go into it and this is our web server this is what you see so what we have here is some basic things uh, we've got any emails and stuff are handled uh, within there uh, we've got a public FTP folder so if people uh, can drop in pictures and stuff uh, from outside uh, by using FTP if you're using anonymous uh, and this public HTML folder is where our website is actually kept so if we open uh, this site. This is all the website that's running Chris Linford Co.uk at this moment. It changes fairly regularly. Uh, normally when you open it up you get all this information uh, to work with. You don't need to get involved with that until it says uh, you get a bit of code that says drop this in the CGI bin and then you would drop it in the CGI bin or anything else but don't need to get involved. All the content below the CGI bin is stuff that I've created uh, before. So the main thing we've got is we can just put files on and off the server uh, require, uh, as we require. So things we've looked at before, we looked at Softdelicious before and we set up Squirrel Mail system on the server. So this is a folder with Squirrel Mail. So if we open up that, uh, you can see in the Squirrel Mail all the coding and the documents that uh, goes to run the email software that we installed earlier. So that uh, runs all down there. That was all put in uh, quite quickly. Uh, and also we made a subdomain, if you look at the subdomain video, which I made a test at test.chrislinfordco.uk, which is just a little bit of a, a domain on a domain, uh, if you like there. And at the moment, there's probably nothing in there uh, at all at the moment, apart from a CGI bin, because each subdomain can have its own CGI bin, which is for transactions uh, on the internet. Uh, but at the moment it's empty. So what we want to do is to look at our website. So if we go to testquistlinfordco.uk, if you remember before, this is what we looked at. That's a CGI bin that's sitting there, uh, not doing anything. Uh, so what we want to do is to actually push a small website into that, which is all quite straightforward. So if we just remove here, I've got a site folder here. And in here, I've got a basic website. So it's nothing very fancy. I've got some pictures in the resources folder, and I've got index HTML as the actual web software. The first web page should always be called index HTML. So whatever you want your home page, always make sure it's called index HTML. HTML means I'm running a Linux server, as you could see from my cPanel before. Um, you might have HTM uh, if you're running a Windows server. Uh, that information would come from your web host if you want it. So I've got a little bit of CSS information and stuff just to run uh, on this. But at the moment we haven't uploaded it. So what we do, we need to get the CyberDuck uh, showing on here and it's as simple as this all we do is get all this information and then just copy it into the test folder and then up will come this transfer window I've made a nice small site so it should upload uh, fairly quick you can see it all working its way through 
and then it tells me the upload is complete so we can just have a quick look at that and you can see then that all the information that I had in there is on my site folder so now all we need to do is to look at the uh, actual web page and see how it's changed so if we go back to our domain if I refresh this subdomain up will come my web page and it's as simple as that if I want to get rid of it all I need to do is get back into Cyberduck and I can just select all of these just holding the shift down uh, and select them and then I can just delete them and it tells me there what it is I'm going to delete and it will then delete them from the server you can see at the bottom here it's done that it's telling me so now the test folder is empty now I go back to there and refresh it and I'm back to where I was before although I did delete the CGI folder as well but never mind okay so that's FTP software it's quite straightforward you need to get yourself an FTP client like Cyberduck and then you can just push things onto your website make your website and then push it onto the site and it becomes live instantly as soon as you've done it if you need any more information you can contact me at chris linford or chris at chrislinford.co.uk or you can see me on youtube or on itunes